All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in the new, what is the, ready to become, the KB32 Studios. I got all this sound insulation. Got this idea from Guns and Gadgets. It's a good friend of mine, Jared. Thanks a lot, buddy. Uh, I sent you, by the way, some really cool instructions on how I hung this stuff. So I wanted to take this opportunity just to chat. This is nothing more than you and I sitting back, relaxing, and let's talk about a couple things. I don't know, like say, why is the National Guard still in D.C.? Think about it. They've served a purpose once. Uh, they put this big gate up around there, this fence with concertina wire and several thousands and $500 million. And for anybody who questions that and asks, you're just saying what Fox News says, go check it out. Yeah, over $500,000 by the time they did him out, out of there. Uh, so I do know that the, one of the reasons why they're there is because they're scared of some kind of uprising on March 4th or whatever it is when they think that Trump's going to come back and, and do his thing. Well... I, I'm a little bit more uh, intrigued by this whole thing because I believe that they're there for uh, other reasons. Uh, what are those reasons? Well, my first uh, thought is this. They are there because Congress, the Democratic-controlled Congress, is going to try to introduce some overwhelming leftist socialist type of laws. Yeah, that's, that's my firm belief. As well as, I think, as, as hard as the anti-firearm, anti-2A groups are pushing to have Joe Biden try to do something as quickly as he can. Now, there's only so much, now, just before everybody freaks out, there's only so much that he can do through executive order. It takes Congress to do that. And I fully feel that there are a lot of Democrats out there who are not going to put up with it because they were also pro 2A. And if they were to go against all the FUDs, let's say the FUDs, well, why does anyone need a, an assault rifle? I hate that word. Everybody's like, oh, if you want, please quit using the term assault rifle as Armalite rifle. Yeah, I get it. I totally do. I call it American sporting rifle myself because – it is indeed a sporting rifle, and they're fun. They're a joy to shoot. They are. They have low recoil, so someone who is small stature has no issues shooting the damn thing. But I honestly feel like Nancy Pelosi, who is in charge of security there, is going to try to push for some crazy-ass bills and get them signed into law, and until then, until she does, they are worried about their ass. Never met a greater coward as I have as a congressman who's a Democrat on the Hill. Tell me I'm wrong. Just absolutely tell me I'm wrong. Those individuals up there, they want to be surrounded by men with guns, with fences, and concertina wire. Now, granted, they probably don't have any what they call personal protection ammo, but uh, they definitely do make a statement. And as long as they are there, uh, Congress feels that they are in power. When it's actually, guys, that's our house. That's for you and me to uh, go up and visit and speak our mind and show the, go the government that, uh, well, we are their boss. They are not our boss. And I think that that is where you have people like Kamala Harris. You've got Joe Biden. You've got Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi. Even some people on the right, they think they know better for what you and I have. And I swear to God, I wish Fauci would just shut up. That guy is destroying me. So anyway, uh, that's why I feel the National Guard is still there. They're getting ready to throw some stuff out. They know it's going to piss a lot of people off, and they are worried for their ass. So anyway, y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. But before we end this video... I just wanted to do something really quickly because we've got some stuff that we need to build. We've got some firearms. We've got some optics. And i, I got to get back into the gun thing. The sun is still shining right now. And uh, guess what? Next week, we're going shooting. <laughs> what a great therapy to just go out and shoot. So anyway, we got a really cool deal. We're going to finish up the sound studio next week. We've got the other wall over there. I've got an area over here. We're going to hang a flag across there, kind of absorb some of the sound. I'm going to leave the ceiling open so I can reflect lighting off top of that. But let's talk about this. What is this? This is, this is a muzzle brake. This is a muzzle brake that I ordered off, believe it or not, uh, Optics Planet. All I wanted was a regular three-chambered muzzle brake. And this is what it was. And it, it came... And believe it or not, a couple of days. 
And the reason I needed this is because I got this. I bought all this stuff. And this is a rifle barrel. It's chambered in 223 Wild. And it's fluted for your protection and your enjoyment. Uh, one and eight twist. But I wanted something that was stainless steel because I got a little upper that I want to build. Now, I'm the worst when it comes to, I don't know, say, uh, attention deficit tool, this order. I've got builds going all over the place. And all of a sudden, I see something I want to start or I see a barrel that's on sale, then i got to get it. This was ordered from Midway USA. I have a sneaking suspicion that this guy was probably manufactured by Bear Creek Arsenal because uh, the stamps look awfully familiar as well as just about everything that they sell as their AR Stoner brand looks a lot like uh, the guys over there at Bear Creek Arsenal. But with that being said, um, yeah, I think this barrel was like $132, something like that. This was $17. So again, they're out there. Parts and pieces are out there. You just got to find them. So we're going to be doing a build on that. This is going to be an upper probably just throw a little parts piece together really something really cool with a regular old mil spec trigger however we're gonna have fun so we'll do that this weekend i've got a bunch of pistols that we need to do reviews on and uh ordered a lot of cool parts and pieces to continue moving forward towards our pistol caliber carbine or actually the uspsa two gun nationals down there in talladega it's going to be interesting so with that being said guys uh, let me know what your thoughts are about why are the National Guard, why is the National Guard still in D.C.? Let's go to Boy32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the heart it does so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. I'm going to have another sip of coffee before we leave. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.